Today on the newscast, China reportedly just tested a major new weapon that has U.S. intel officials stunned. Find out what it is next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We've been telling you here over the past few months that China is becoming a major military powerhouse and a direct threat to the United States. Now the Financial Times is reporting that back in August, China tested a nuclear capable hypersonic missile. Folks, this would be a major military advancement for the communist regime in Beijing. What these hypersonic missiles do and why they are so lethal is that they travel at a low altitude, number one. Number two, they travel at five times the speed of sound. Number three, that makes them very difficult for missile defenses to evade. It's a much different beast than a ballistic missile. A hypersonic missile is at another level, certainly when it is nuclear capable, like this Chinese missile test was back in August. Now, Russia also recently tested a hypersonic missile. China denies, by the way, this report in the Financial Times. They say it was just a space experiment. And I quote, very interesting. I wouldn't take the regime in Beijing at its word, but this would be a game-changing weapon. And that's why, reportedly, according to the Financial Times, U.S. officials were stunned at news of this Chinese hypersonic missile test. For me, as an American, that's alarming, to say the least, that our intelligence officials were in the dark at the Chinese regime's plans. But you have to believe that these bold moves by the likes of China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea can be traced back to that Afghanistan debacle and the image now of the United States as weakened and no longer the leader of the free world. We discussed this major Chinese military and nuclear buildup recently on a TBN special called The Rise of China. And I sat down in Washington, D.C. with Dean Ching of the Heritage Foundation. He is a foremost expert on this issue. Take a look. How strong is China militarily right now and why the buildup? Not only conventional weapons, but their nuclear arsenal as well. What are they getting at here? So first, some of the statistics. Um, China, of course, is a nation of 1.4 billion people. Its military is correspondingly large. Um, it's uh, almost 2 million. Uh, to give you a sense, the U.S. military in total is about a million troops. Um, they now have one of the world's largest air forces, uh, one of the world's largest navies. They've always had one of the world's largest, uh, some of the world's largest ground forces. Mm -hmm. We see them deploying space weapons. Uh, and anyone who has been on the internet knows that Chinese cyber hacking is a fact of life. Why are they doing this? A variety of reasons. Uh, part of it is they do have the second largest economy in the world. And if you think of militaries as an insurance policy, the nicer the house you have, the nicer the car, the more insurance you need. But also part of it is to intimidate the neighbors. China has territorial disputes with almost every neighbor uh, on its periphery, uh, maritime, land. Uh, so we have seen the Chinese send troops across the border into India, a nuclear-armed neighbor. We, if you go on YouTube, you can see video of Chinese ships literally running down, running over Vietnamese fishing boats that the Chinese accuse of fishing in Chinese waters. Uh, the Chinese have built islands hundreds of miles away from their coast in the South China Sea. And they have, of course, the issue of Taiwan, which they claim is a renegade province. And then they have disputes also with the Japanese. So. What we have seen is a military modernization program. They have two stealth fighter programs. Uh, they are building uh, modern destroyers, aircraft carriers, submarines, uh, as I said earlier, space weapons. So it's a wide variety of systems. And we have detected uh, fields of nuclear missile silos. I wanted to ask China. you about that, Dean. The nuclear missile silos, uh, China building up that arsenal. I think they've more than doubled their arsenal in the past 15 years or so alone doesn't seem like there are noble intentions with that program. It's a very puzzling program. Uh, the Chinese exploded their first nuclear weapon in 1964. In the intervening 50 plus years, they've really only built a handful, maybe 20 ICBMs that could reach the United States. They have more nuclear weapons that can reach Russia, but of course Russia's closer. Um, 
all of a sudden, they are building nuclear missile silos, and we think that those missiles will carry MIRVs, multiple independent warheads. Um, we know that they are building submarine launch ballistic missiles and a fleet of submarines to carry them. They are even talking about building nuclear armed bombers. To give you an idea of how extraordinary that is, the Soviet Union built only a handful of those. They never really developed an air breathing, airplane based nuclear uh, leg of their forces. The Chinese are talking about building a brand new bomber capable of launching air launch cruise missiles. Wow, so this is a rapidly modernizing military, conventional and non-conventional weapons of mass destruction uh, program. It seems like the clear objective here is to not only catch up to the U.S., but to surpass the U.S. I wanted to ask you about two things you mentioned. Number one, the cyber hacking, which has become a serious problem, that Microsoft Exchange server that China re recently hacked, and the weaponization of space. Could you take both of those, the hacking and the space program of China, which is alarming? So to the Chinese, these are actually flip sides of the same coin. Space for the Chinese matters not because there are things in orbit, but because it's how you gather information and how you transmit information. So it's all about information. The Chinese military says, we want to be prepared to fight and win informationized wars. Because to their mind, that is the shape of future warfare. So the People's Liberation Army, which is a party army, it is the armed wing of the Chinese Communist Party, it's perfectly natural for that military to do whatever is necessary to keep the party in power. If that means hacking Coca-Cola or Microsoft, They'll hack Microsoft and Coca-Cola. If it means keeping a watch on the Chinese population, they'll do that. In space, we've watched the Chinese develop a variety of anti-satellite weapons, as well as cyber weapons, to basically try and disrupt that information flow, whether it's hard kill, actually destroying satellites, or what's sometimes termed soft kill, jamming the satellite, uh, infecting it with a computer virus, or, for example, shooting lasers and things, not like Star Wars, but to blind the sensors. So the satellite is still physically there. It hasn't blown up, but it can't operate it. Very important information there. Thanks again to Dean Cheng of the Heritage Foundation. Folks, obviously here in the Watchman Newscast, we keep a very close eye on what is happening in the Middle East, but we are also watching the moves made by that communist regime in Beijing. If you like that interview with Dean Cheng and you are interested in this very important topic, check out the entire special, The Rise of China, right here on our Watchman YouTube channel. Just go to the US News category, scroll over a bit, and you will find it, The Rise of China. One last programming note, this Wednesday, October 20th, we're doing a Watchman Newscast live stream right here on the YouTube channel. We will go for one solid hour from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and we will take your questions. So be ready to join us live here on Wednesday. And again, bring some questions. I look forward to the give and take live right here on the Watchman YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, thanks so much for joining us here in the newscast. God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey, everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.